think about women who approach you, what would you say are some of the key issues and challenges that you've seen in, in you know, just in the way women are approaching angel investment? Obviously, both from Alma and yourself now, and when you're looking at it as Atomico too. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of the times I get, you know, inundated with pitch decks, right? Because you can imagine, not just me, I'm sure all angel investors are inundated, right? And I'm doing angel, so I spent some days looking at angel deals amongst all my other work that I'm doing. So I'm working as a venture partner, as you know, so I spent half my day yesterday looking at Speed Invest stuff. The other half I was doing, looking at my angel deals because I just don't get time during the week, given it's not my day job. It's like my side thing that I love to do, right? So I think it's quite key when you, before you approach an angel investor to do a little bit of due diligence on what are they interested in? And you know what, is there fit here? Because a lot of the times I get things that I can't really do anything with it. And not just me, this is for when you're approaching, you know, VC funds or when you're approaching other angel investors, right? And I think to be quite succinct in your communications and being like, this is my business. It's a pre-seed company. This is how much I'm looking to raise. This is a brief description. This is, you know, whatever you can do to make their life easier in terms of a cover email without going into the history of all of it, because that's what I need to look. I need key pieces of information to be like, is this something for me? If not, you know, I would like to reply back and say, sorry, but can you apply to Alma or sorry, sorry, these are the people who might be interested in this or, the, you know, would refer them to on to someone else. And that is also something I try and do because I obviously can't give capital to everybody, but I can give advice and help to most people, right? So I think um, your chances of getting capital are higher, just like Shell works. You know, in Sia, when she emailed me, she clearly understood that I invest in material sciences. And she clearly done a very clear blurb saying, I'd love to talk to you about this. So um, I, I just felt it increases your chances, not just with me, but with any investor. Uh, and also, it helps them. If they can't do it, then you know what? They can refer you to someone else because the story is right there. Obviously, then there's a question of cold intro and warm intro. I, I mean, I try and look at everything that comes into my inbox cold, but I'm sure I miss things. I think because you're it's not me. human. <laughs> it's not humanly possible even for me to, you know, sometimes. And I know I'm behind because I might see something, go back and find an email from three months ago and be like, oh my God, I never replied to this, right? So because ours, as you know, is a people intensive business. It's, it, you know, it's not really replaceable with, technology so I think uh, I think then the question of warm intro and obviously warm intros with anybody are easier because they sit on top of an inbox but you know I'm a firm believer that even if people reach out cold we should try and respond to them but I think there are investors for which warm intros might work better so those are a few things you know to think about so as a, as a woman invest as a woman a uh, founder it is often difficult to get those those warm intros those referrals and so often having to kind of go through networks and things. Yeah. 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 So I guess that's where Alma comes exactly. in as well. And, you know, with Alma, you can just apply cold. Um, obviously, we still recommend, we have lots of people on LinkedIn who put Alma on their profile. It's always good to even check in with them before you apply because then it comes in referred by somebody and people can if they've met you already they can comment but um, again you can still apply cold and probably just to. open this up a uh, journey across europe i mean business angels europe which is the which is the, the equivalent of the uk baa but for the whole of, of europe i mean we have a uh, we have a significant club of leading angel investor groups uh, across europe so anyone who's listening in should check on the business angels uh, europe uh, website